One of the key flagship upgrades for this version of Final Cut Pro is the full and comprehensive 360 degree support. Now, if you're shooting on a 360 degree camera, it might produce footage that looks like this with uh, two cameras back to back. But you'll need to stitch this footage into the equirectangular format you can see here. Now, possibly the easiest way to understand this is that this represents the entire field of view in a two to one video format. So you can pretty much see the entire image here in the regular viewer. To get started, you need to make a new project. And from the format menu, you can choose 360 degrees. You can choose to work with mono or stereo 360 degrees for those of you who've got a very fancy camera. And you've got a couple of choices of resolutions as well. Now, I've already done that. I've got an edit here with a bunch of clips already in place. When you're working with 360 degree footage, though, it's important not just to see everything, but see it as a viewer would see it, looking around at a particular part of the frame. From the view menu up here, you can now choose the 360 degree viewer. And for a bit more space, I'll just hide the browser. While the equi viewer here shows everything, this view can be dragged around. This is true even if the video is playing, you can just move around and see a different part of the image. And it's completely straightforward to just look around and you can track people as they move around the shot, as someone's likely to do viewing using a headset. There are a few more tools available with the 360 degree support and that's what I'll show you next.